Welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Hoven Kusheno and this video is part of our Cisco Secure X series. Previously we discussed what integration modules are available including third-party orchestration, don't forget it's still in beta, ribbon and news feature, tiles and custom dashboards and how to invite your team members to use Cisco Secure X platform. In this video, we are going to learn how to generate Cisco Umbrella API pair key secrets, configure Secure X integration module for Cisco Umbrella, config, configure Cisco Umbrella Investigate, Cisco Umbrella Reporting, and um, Cisco Umbrella Enforcement on this order. Last but not least, we're going to add Umbrella tiles to the default uh, dashboard. A quick note here before we get started, I will assume that you have some data on. Um, on your Cisco Umbrella setup so we can see some tiles after we complete the dashboard setup. Note 2, so when, when you log in on your SecureX um, instance based on the region that you selected, as you probably remember that I've selected the European one, so we'll refer here as EU, right? So if I go here and type US, so this would assume that I've set up my instance in US. If I go on here Go, go ahead, it will actually show that nothing has been configured because of course this is a, a different instance of SecureX, in this case in a different region. So make sure that you are on the region that you set up previously. If you want to use the three region, that's absolutely fine, but just make sure that you don't kind of get in trouble uh, without having multiple regions and you kind of have multiple uh, um, accounts for that. Okay, so I will go back here in new EU. Okay. Now, uh, when configuring Umbrella in integration, you must first gather some information from your Umbrella instance and then uh, complete the, the add new module form. So you probably remember in our previous video uh, that we set up uh, default integrations just to activate the account that was this one here, the name of the model I gave it, Umbrella 10. So if we go here on the integrations, we can see here the two models that are currently being uh, set up, the Secure AI Orchestrator, which is uh, in the bad version, right? Um, and also um, the Umbrella 10. So if we go here and edit, we're going to be able to see the form that we're going to need to fulfill to um, activate the Cisco Umbrella. So first, we're gonna actually gonna create a token for the investigate, move forward to the enforcement, and later to uh, the reporting. Um, to the reporting. So I do have here already my Cisco Umbrella instance. We navigate to investigate. Open. We're gonna go to investigate API access right here, and we're gonna create a new token. So we're going to set up here SecureX, refer to it as you want. Now we create a token, so we're going to copy this token here. And we go to the Cisco SecureX again and paste that token here. That investigate is done, it's completed. So now we move to, to the enforcement. Um, to the enforcement API, the user must be an admin in the Umbrella uh, standalone uh, or, or child org instead of an admin of an Umbrella console. Okay, so in the Umbrella, you navigate to policies, uh, policy components, policies, policy components, and integrations. And out of the box. For this, we need to click on the button add, give a name. Let's say umbrella and click the button create on your right. After done, we actually have to click again to activate, to enable that. I'm going to click it. So we need to tick the box enable and copy uh, the Cisco Umbrella API in URL below and save. So we can see now after we save it, we're going to be able to see that has been uh, save it, saved. Uh, and you can see that it's been enabled. Now we do have the URL from the Cisco Umbrella. We go back to the SecureX and paste here on the enforcement, the URL for the enforcement. If we click it here, so this will be 
the enforcement uh, URL that we're gonna have to paste here. So I'll do it again. So now we can actually remove the key and the secret from the previously, and we're gonna get you back. We go back to um, now the umbrella um, navigation. So we go to admin. So we click here, we navigate to the admin API keys. And the API keys we're gonna need to create um, for the reporting, uh, a new API key pair uh, for uh, reporting. Uh, umbrella reporting, we, o we only can have one uh, specific uh, API for this, so you can't have two keys for the reporting, just bear in mind. Create this, there we go. So this uh, secret, um, this uh, key, you can see it if you go back here, but the, the secret, um, please keep it in a safe place if you want to record this in a password vault or something like that. Okay, because once we've done it, once we um, close it, it will not open again, it will not show again. We're going to see, check that in a minute. And we tick the box, as you can see here, uh, once, it, once we tick the box, we acknowledge it and we can't see it anymore. And if we kind of tick here, and you can see you only can see the, the key. Now, in terms of um, time frame, so this is the time frame that the, the CQX is going to pull the data from, the time frame. So in the time frame, uh, I would probably say here 30 days should be... Uh, uh, for testing purpose now should be more than fine. Um, last but not least, in terms of the organization, the quick way to see what organization that you are in, in terms of the umbrella, this is going to be here, this numerical value, numerical value, this is going to be your organization uh, ID. So we're going to copy that and paste here and save. Okay, so or Meraki, uh, Meraki. So our umbrella integration is completed now. So now we're going to create uh, a dashboard and add that um, that styles to the umbrella. Okay, umbrella. And here, the, those are the available tiles. I will select all of those. As you can see here, we have already here definitely some nice data. I will actually collapse the view so we can see it. And There is an option here also to switch to log scale, uh, so let's just change the scale really, be linear or log scale. Um, so and you can move these around as well. So if you want to kind of move this request summary here, um, first you kind of have your crypto mining here data. There is nothing here really at the moment, so there is no much data. But at least you you know exactly now how to set it up. Um, and that's it, we completed the video. If you want to learn more, please subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.